Stay tuned for urban legends to ghostly tales of the paranormal, because now it's time for Message on the Wall. Message on the Wall brings you The Midnight Man. It's claimed that the Midnight Man originates from pagan times, being used to punish those who had broken pagan laws, but this is probably ascribed for extra effect. The Midnight Man is a game that not everyone should play, as it works on all the senses, like the Bloody Mary legend. But if you do dare to summon the Midnight Man, you will require a large candle, fixed into an elder because you wouldn't want to burn the house down as you can't blame the midnight man for that and it needs to be large because it will be needed for over three and a half hours also matches to light the candle though a lighter can be used it shouldn't be replaced as a candle a piece of paper for each player with pen or pencil a clean pin or needle for each player and a container of salt for each person as a precaution. Although it may seem great fun to summon the Midnight Man, this is not a game for the faint-hearted, whether playing alone or with others. Oh, and the Midnight Man only enters through a door made of wood. A few minutes before midnight, each one playing the game needs to write their full name on a piece of paper and then with a needle or pin, prick a finger to draw blood and let a drop fall onto the paper so that it's on the name. To begin, switch out all the lights with no torches being allowed as this is a game that works on the sensors. Go to the front door, or whichever door is used most often for guests to enter, remembering that it must be made of wood The pieces of paper should then be placed outside the door and a candle placed onto each one. This will also stop the paper from being blown away by any light breeze. The candle or candles should then be lit and everyone return inside the house. Now this is a tricky part for if the timing is off it won't work. One person should knock on the door 22 times with the last knock being at dead on at midnight. Then opening the door, each person blows out their candle and re-enters the house, for the midnight man has just been invited in. With the candles relit, no lights should be turned on and no torches or form of lights used other than the candles and it's no good staying in one place either, for the Midnight Man finds anyone who does. When the Midnight Man is close, the candle goes out. If the candle isn't relit within 10 seconds, this is where the salt comes into play. Making a circle with the salt, the person must then stay within the salt line until the Midnight Man leaves. For he does leave, at precisely 3.33 a.m. For those who don't manage to relight the candle or make a circle of salt, it's said the Midnight Man causes hallucinations of that person's greatest fear. And those who evade the Midnight Man are the winners of the game. The mind can be the biggest trickster of them all, Though who is to say that those who claim to have heard whispering felt a drastic change of temperature to draughts of cold air and seeing shadowy figures are not in the presence of the Midnight Man. (laughs) You have been listening to Message on the Wall, brought to you in association with Paranormal Parodies. You can find Paranormal Parodies at paranormal-parodies.com.